AFC matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. It's Hal. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. And Charles, you, you wonder about this defense coming in. I mean, look, it's no secret they're playing a team that's down on its luck right now. Losers of five straight. How does that change how you prepare for a game? Well, to me, the first thought is you just get after them early, right? Take away any chance of them building any confidence. But the second thing is you prepare a little bit differently. You've got to expect this team to take chances. Go for it on third and fourth downs, run a lot of trick plays, anything to try and break their losing streak. So you must stay alert and stay aware. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? He'll get this complete to Rondell Moore. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Tackle there by Big Jordan Davis. Well, this defense for the Eagles, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. And they needed to be because the game was a game we don't see very often anymore. Low scoring, slugging it out in the trenches. One play can make the difference type of a game, and each play took on more importance, and they got it done. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks. Hal throwing on third down here. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. That catch, by the way, number 940 in his career. So he's 60 away from a grand. But 940, that ties him with Art Monk. And I think it's fitting that he tied Art Monk because of the way that he goes about his business, the way that he plays the game. Not a lot of flash, not a lot of dash, but plenty of production. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. With the snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. 15 yards that time and the Cardinals move the chains. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. 
A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. No grounding call there. He had a receiver near the right sideline. It was pretty clear there. He just needed to get rid of that one. And he did have a receiver in the area, but initially my view was obstructed, and I thought that was going to be grounding, but clearly the correct call made, and that is no call. Is that why you threw your play sheet down? Is that why you did Dude, it? You is that the flag? You can't be giving me up. I got a lot of issues up here in the booth. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Gay's kick is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Hurts okay. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 16. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 25 on second down. Hurts swinging this out wide here for Cook. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The Eagles had 10 and 5 to start play, and they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be playing at home in the postseason. And we know that that could ride us all the way to the Super Bowl if we get that done. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. They run again on first down. Cook. They find some open field here. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, we're in the week when they had their scouting report meeting. This was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. They always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. As we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped, so let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. From the 27, Powell. Targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Up. 
from the 40 now on second down. Powell, it's complete to Hopkins. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 24-yard line. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing on first down here. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. Connor. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. It's been a nightmare season. You're well under 500. Your defense hasn't really kept in a lot of games. And now it's spilling over to the kicking game. That's three points you've got to be able to bank on. They start the drive with Cook. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down. Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. They go play action with Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught it, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down. But that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Thomas, the man in motion left. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteeing he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Four minutes to play here in quarter number two. To throw on second and ten. Powell. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 23 yards the final tally. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. 
They'll try again. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals have regained the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because the reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they failed. Now the pressure, back on their offense to pick themselves up, and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. Hurt throw complete there to Thomas. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Here's Hurts to throw. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. There was no one around him, but he took his eye off it, and it falls incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. Play action. Here's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, his fifth touchdown now on the year as his guys have now moved out in front. Elliott Good with a PAT, and the lead is now 14 to 10. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's got some space here. Inside the 20. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Taken at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need him right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. I love that play, because in the snow you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space, because trying to come under control, break down, and make a tackle in the open field, difficult normal conditions. In these conditions, almost impossible. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? But Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. Third and long, here's Howell. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline. But out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And Gay knocks this one through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. offense set to begin their next drive and with an eight-point lead probably not too much of an impetus to try and do too much here looking left sideline it's complete and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds that'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup On first and ten, it's Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. More the man in motion. From the 40 now on second down. Hurts. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And the Cards are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, so does the passing efficiency. And now that we're in December, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this one, it winds up getting picked off. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. Out to his left. Throw left side complete. That's more. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. 
as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway. And this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. This Philly offense set to go. Hey, Starting the third quarter with Cook. And some room to work. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. 138 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Hurt's going to take this himself. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They'll get nine out of that one. And as a result, the drive continues. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Hurts with a quick throw, complete. Touchdown! Grant Calcaterra, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is up to 15 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you into bigger errors. For the play fake, and now here's Hal to throw it. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. That didn't appear to be a design safety blitz. I think he was just going off instinct. I love the way you described that, because I'm thinking along with you. I'm not sure that was designed that way. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positive moving forward. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Good work there. Holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two? Maybe even three more plays. Again, it's Cook. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Delvin Cook. 
with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half. And down three scores, a lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. He hasn't been sacked all game, and there's an example as to why. Evaded the pressure, got out of the pocket, but even with the extra time, it doesn't translate into a completion. on first down that leads to a second and ten hurts six yards there off the scramble but it'll still leave him with a third down in search of four yards here to pick up the first down hurts sets up to throw it he finds Corey Davis and he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Look at my team! But first down, Hurts. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. the 41 hurts it's complete to cook and they're going to have another first down as the tackles made here at the cardinals 17 yard line inside the red zone here they'll look to throw and that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They run the counter with Cook. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Throwing his hurts. 
And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the oh, trainers man. and the coaches. Well done. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Off the play fake, Hughes Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Powell throwing on third down here. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to roll it out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. Going for it on fourth. Here's Hell. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. First down, Hal to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now once more, Hal back to the air. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. And the Eagles will take over here just shy of the 30. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance. He's helping his team in a huge way. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Got 
got some breathing room. And now off to the races, down the right side. And the Eagles extend this fourth quarter lead, and they are getting closer and closer to win number 11. Elliott Good with a PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. They're throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second and ten, Howell. Looking left sideline, incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and ten. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Isaiah Rodgers. And they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent gain. Now, left side, a completion to his tight end. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Flush to his right. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but... That lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. And he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up. But he certainly will have some explaining to do. play doesn't go anywhere backwards losing yardage to the 11 this defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards and he'll try and throw here on the fake and he's brought down can't do anything with a football it's a sack and a turnover on downs they pass up the three fake it it doesn't work and the cardinal defense is going to get the football back Yeah. 
Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. Dancing to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try to throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now looking to throw again. His hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he is going to have the Cardinals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Let's go. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Pal to the air on first and ten. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second and seven. Second down, Hal back to pass. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. But I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player in the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. It's Hal with another throw. has it left side and he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40 give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll this drive continues to plunge forward so from the 36 now first and 10 Al throwing on first down here oh he dropped it and that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone I think this is what this game's become now. You just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Another throw for Howell. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He 
We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Fourth down, Hal, desperation time. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And they hope to polish things off. And what a run they are on as they try to turn a six-game win streak into a seven-game win streak. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Again, it's Cook. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Third down. Here's a run by Cook. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So Flying Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched.